Hey, how's it going? It is another very, very early morning. Well, or late at night, depends on how you want to look at it. But today I've got quite a bit of stuff planned. Plans have kind of changed. So we're going to be doing a little bit of trapping and a little bit of taming today. What I planned on doing was going out, getting an Anki. That's the last utility team that we would need. And then stopping by and grabbing organic polymer if we could find some penguins. Because everything's kind of right over there. Ankies are over that way. The organic polymer should be up there in the snow biome. However, I was out doing some harvesting on the beaver, and all the way over there at the edge of the map, I found one of the apes, man. One of the apes that I want to go ahead and use on the Gamma boss fight. It's a 145, so we definitely want to tame it up before something happens to it. And seeing as how I don't have any ghillie, it's going to be a slight issue. However, I think I have something planned. So, we're going to build a trap. <laughs> I've never trapped one of those, so I'm kind of new to it. Let's get some stuff started. I want to get over there as soon as we can because it was being attacked by a bunch of raptors and stuff. It's in very, very bad shape. Not sure how much health is left on it, but the raptors, terror birds, and some trudons were on it. I mean, the, you know, the main things that are in the redwoods. So what I want to do is build a 3x3, three three, kind of like this right here. And in the center, we're going to try to get him trapped in there. Put some doorways up. He can't fit through them. That way we can kind of get in and feed him from any direction. And then the outer ones, I'm going to put walls on. Kind of protect us from the carnos and everything else. That should work. We'll use ramps to get them up on top. But yeah, that centerpiece is going to be kind of like the key thing there. So let's go ahead. I'm hoping with Wingman, he gets a weight reduction on building supplies as well. He does. So 140 weight. We need... Are we out of something? Maybe I was out of space. Carry weight. So yeah, uh, okay, so he does get a weight reduction on those. I was kind of worried if he wasn't going to because I want to take the Feather Raptor over there. That way we can have some type of protection. That is fantastic. So let's make up some doorways. We're going to need four, five of the doorways. So five of you. That's going to be four for the centerpiece and then one for us to get inside of the out outer part. Kind of like the perimeter that we have set up. Oh, I'm really hoping we can get him to fall inside the trap. That's going to be the main part because we don't have an Argentavis or Quetzal or anything to pick him up. And then as for the normal walls, we're going to need 3, 6, 9, 12. We need 11 regular walls. I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's do ceilings. We're going to need, I think, two ceilings. We're going to need some ramps. I think just two ramps should be fine. He's going to have to be running straight to get right up on that, too. And then we need the walls. Regular walls. It's going to be 11, not 112. <laughs> That's a few, few too many. Cool, so that should work there. And how are we looking with our weight situation? Put those in there. Put those in those. I think we'll be all right. We'll still be fairly, fairly good on weight to be able to get on the Feather Raptor. And then I was going to make a bunch of medical brew today, too. It was one of the plans I had. Maybe we'll do that afterwards if we can get this guy tamed up. But that should be everything that we need for our trap. Really hoping it works. Like I said, it's still super early in the morning. It should be almost morning time, like daylight by the time we get over there. So that'll kind of work out, and we'll have the whole day to get them tamed up. I've got three stacks of the berries. That should be enough. We don't have any vegetables or anything else. It, some kibble would be fantastic right now. Just saying. So I will see you all the way over there. We are still running kind of slow. There we go. A little bit better, man. A little bit. But yeah, we'll get over there and start building our trap. And hopefully, oh man, I really hope it's still there. Like I said, it was beat up pretty bad from all the creatures that were around when I was trying to save it. All right, make sure our stamina is good before we get over here. Oh yeah, everything's spawning in. All those Trudons are still there now. So he was right up here. There's a Raptor. Has me worried. Where's... Where's the big ape at? He was right back there. Whenever I left him. <gasps> there he is. Spawned right in on us. Yeah, see, man. Really low on health. Don't aggro him. Please don't get aggro yet. Really low on health, man. 145 female. So let's do a little bit of perimeter control before we start this and we'll build the trap probably right here man it's nice and flat should be big enough let's get you out of here because i do not want you dragging stuff over i think we're kind of set for the moment <laughs> i don't know how long it'll last i kind of uh 
Okay, needs that chitin. I kind of want to build right here, but he's kind of in the way. All right, Junior, I don't want you causing any problems yet. All right. But you want passive. Let's start off with foundations, of course. And I don't want to get myself overweight yet. I don't want to uh, need to run and not be able to. We'll go this way. Not there. Horrible placement. And it's going to suck, but I want to keep checking on Junior. Because stuff spawns so quick around here, man. I do not want him to... To get killed by anything, you know? We good? You guys are all good. Let's get rid of you. Alright, so. Part number two of the trap. <laughs> Try to keep an eye for him. I don't want him come on over here causing problems either. Let's get these out. And we'll get these out. So we'll do these like this. This is pretty much so we can get him in here, and then we can always get in to feed him without any problems. This is going to be the one doorway for us to get in and out of. We'll set that on this side. We'll do our walls right here. This is to protect everybody from the Carnos and everything else that are out there. I need to go check on Junior. Did I bring a door? I forgot an actual door, too. We'll have to fix that here in a minute. Not a problem. We got all of our stuff for building. All right, so you're still down there. No raptors. We're good. We're good. So the thing is, I need to get him up and over into there. So I'm hoping we can get him up on the ramp, walk across the ceiling, and get him to drop in. That's <laughs> that's going to be the hard part. Get him to actually drop where we want him to. Right? Because I want him to walk up here and drop into this one. Not into the outer one. If he's in the outer one, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. It'll still work, but it's going to be a problem. Alright, so I think we're good. I want to run up, try to get a little bit of aggro. We will come around this way. And then get him to come in and drop in right there. So let's put you in here. Where's my... There we go. So he's going to punt us whenever <laughs> we get too close, I think. Junior, yep, come this way, man. He's fast! Not fast enough. Let's get you all the way up here. Get you lined up! Oh, he punched me! That's rude! I just want to feed you, man. Want to feed you, protect you, call you friend. <laughs> that punch, man, it's no joke. All right, come on. You're almost here. Up and over. Nice, man, nice! Oh, I was worried about him four-wheel driving over, too. So, let's go ahead and remove this. And so he's going to continue to hit our stuff, even though he's not going to damage it. Let's go ahead and pick up this one. All we got to do now is get out of render range and hope that he stays there. Sometimes when you get out of render range, things you have trapped kind of disappear on single player. So hoping that's not the case, we should be able to just fly up on wingman, drop back down. If he's there, oh, dude, we're good then. Oh, man, that was kind of easier than I thought. <gasps> we got raptors. See, that's why I wanted to put the, the walls around there. But super simple trap, man. Not too bad. Buddy. Yeah, I know, man. I know. You're, like, working really, really hard first thing this morning. But it'll be worth it, hopefully, if we can get him tamed. Another raptor already. And Carno, holy crap, we got that done just in time, too. All right, so everybody's at a render distance. Oh, he's still there. He lost aggro, too. Fantastic. Please do not drop us, wingman. Please don't drop us. Easy. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, that worked out fantastically. Yeah, it's super sketchy trying to leave render distance on single player. We good? I saw a lot of stuff when we were up there. I think we'll be fine. Let's try to get one feeding in. We'll kind of go from there. Let's leave you here. I really need to build a door. Let's do the let's do the door first. Let's do this proper so we don't have any problems. Where is we're gonna need a little bit of wood, a little bit of thatch, and a tiny, tiny bit of fiber. Do I have the sickle on me? Sure do. Right, let's get back over this way. And everybody on passive. Kind of nervous having a wingman on me when I'm trying to do taming. 
All right, so one regular doorway. I do not want an S plus one. <laughs> I'll try to get in there, and it'll start opening and closing by itself, causing problems. Maybe we can go ahead and pick you up. Maybe if we're in there, stuff won't see us, and we'll be all right. All right, so let's do this. Easy, buddy. Easy. We're good, man. We're friends. There we go. One berry, 10%. Holy crap, it's going to take forever. Yeah, it's kind of super sketchy not having any ghillie. I mean, we'd do it out in the wild if we did. But it looks like it's going to work, man. Oh, dude, now we just have the, the waiting game, right? Of trying to feed him. And it doesn't look like he's going to be walking anywhere. He's kind of stuck right there. So it kind of... <laughs> dude, I am so happy it worked out, man. I hear you out there. Yep. Oh, they saw me. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Calm down. Easy. Should have stayed hidden. Oh, I should have stayed hidden. Buddy. Well, i tell you what. Uh-huh. Serves you right. Come over here, you too. We good? Everybody all right? Get back in here. Go back in there. We'll stay crouched. They won't see us. We won't see them. See, buddy. I took care of him, man. Don't worry about it. We're safe. Want a berry yet? Yeah, don't. So I'm kind of nervous for two reasons. One, I hear a lot of footsteps out there. <laughs> and two, he's starting to move around a little bit. Or she. Still doesn't want another berry. Oh, you do. Fantastic. Dude, it was so long in between that first... It's second feeding. The other ones usually go a lot faster. But yeah, she's starting to move around. I was wondering at first if she was stuck because she wasn't like walking around or anything. And I don't know. I'm kind of worried about if this is far enough distance away, right? To where we won't get aggro. I mean, we're not even one full foundation away if she comes to this corner. We might have to kind of move around at the same time when she starts moving. Because if... We get aggro, I think I'm going to have to fly all the way up again, and then drop back down, and I think it just resets the whole process. So luckily, we won't really mess it up fully. We'll just kind of reset our process, or our progress that we made so far. And I ate one whole stack of berries. I was, uh, I was a little thirsty, and I didn't want to jump out to try to get water because of <laughs> all the footsteps that are out there. It seems like if they don't see us, then we're good to go, you know? I'd like to keep it that way, if possible, at least until this guy's teamed up. Oh, dude. So apparently one foundation is far enough away. I don't know if these stone walls has anything to do with it and us being crouched. I don't know if it has the same effect of it can't see us, but it's going to make a lot of problems when I try to feed it again. So I'm not ready. I've got another feeding in. So I think we're three into it now. It's almost 10% for each one, so it's not too bad. <laughs> I'm so worried, man. At least it looks like it's healing up some, too. Yeah, it's almost fully healed. Dude, it was in such bad shape when I first found her. Well, right on time. Water is not an issue anymore. How are you doing? Another one. There we go. We're almost halfway. Losing a little bit on our taming effectiveness. It'd be nice if we had some kibble, but we don't. And that was raptors out there. So I heard them running, and it, I guess they went chasing one of the moose. <laughs> so it kind of works out. He kind of got them away from us. Halfway there, man. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hopefully it speeds up a little bit more with the feeding. Try to get this done before nighttime, you know? What time is it? I always got plenty of time. Day's only half over. That's a level 135 pterodon right there. If I had some bolas... I don't think one's going to be enough to knock him out, even though it was a headshot. Forget it. Oh, he turned! He's going to be too far if he drops anyways. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks, man. I should have waited and made a bola. I was trying to shoot at him earlier when he was over here, but he kept dodging all of my darts. I keep forgetting I don't have my good long neck anymore, or else one would have easily knocked him out. I mean, that's fine. I was wanting to do a lot of our gameplay without a flyer for a while anyways. Seems how we got Junior back there, man. You awake? Oh, see a little eye there. Sorry, sorry. I thought you were taking a nap, man. <laughs> Kind of sucks, though. It would have been nice to have that 135. Get a double team in today. You almost ready? Two more, and it should be ours. I think, right? Yeah, two more will be good. Oh, nice. That last one. 
Nice, man. Nice. Ah, oh, that went a lot simpler than I thought I was going to. Buddy. <laughs> that was kind of a pain. But it worked out just good, man. Not a problem. We'll probably tame uh, the next one the same way. Let's go ahead and see about those raptors out here before we get that guy unstuck. Are we good? I know you guys are around here. I heard you. We might be good. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's leave him out. We'll grab you out. Take a look at some stats. And I think I'll probably pick all this stuff back up. And then we'll use it again on our next one. Where is... There we go. Let's go and just pick everything up. It should all be... Wait, not to... Almost demolished it, man. But yeah, nothing should be damaged. We didn't have anything really attack it other than... Oh, yep, right there. Nope, we're good. Yep, there goes a the door. Fantastic. I didn't want that door anyways, man. <laughs> it's fine. It's just a door. Alright, so... We'll sit on you. Let's fix Wingman real quick with our stuff. And drop all this. So, how are the stats on this guy? It is a 214. It tamed out to be. And then, wait a minute. Wild was a 214. Is that bugged? That was a 145 that we tamed. Interesting. Anyways, for health, we've got 35. Not too bad. And then for damage, it's 23. A little bit low. We've got 33 on the stamina. 24 on weight. And oh, thank goodness, man. We got 42 points into our oxygen stat. I am so glad our bonus went into that one. <laughs> it's the way it goes sometimes. So, the absolute values are 2,800 on the health, almost 2,900. Stamina is 1,290. Fantastic. Weight is 325 and 300 on the damage. 106 movement speed. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't used these too much. I usually team the aberrant ones. So, it'd be kind of neat to see what all we can do with it. Let's go ahead and pick you up. And the cool part is, since you have Wingman... You can use this to throw you around, right? And then, let's see, let's go this way. Then you can use Wingman to glide. <laughs> That's kind of neat, man. Not too bad of a launch platform. However, let's get a little bit closer to you. I don't want something to happen. Let's find something to punch real quick. Let's grab this egg, too. I think it's from the Pterodon that was over here. So all we got to do now is find one more for breeding. Oh, that was a galley egg. I thought it was a... I thought it was an egg from the Pterodon. Find something to punch. This dodic will work. Just want to see what the damage is like on it for a base. So 120. Oh, wait, don't throw me. My bad. Yep, wrong button. That's going to be a problem here, I think. I think it only does that one punch, right? Hey, what was that? Oh, is he gathering? That's right. They gather stuff too, right? They do. Oh, fiber. Interesting, I never used them for gathering fiber. Well, that's going to help out from having to farm it all myself. Let's put some points into health. Definitely want to keep you alive. We'll give you a little bit of that. I will take this. Wait, do you get a reduction? You don't. So 120 on damage. That's not too bad, man, if you think about it. So they hit very, very fast. And once we breed them, oh, they're going to be they're going to be perfect for the boss fight. I got to look up to see what the boss is on this map. Haven't even looked at it. I think it's the... The Broodmother and the Megapithecus combined, I think, if I remember right. Is that the uh, 135? It's a level 60. I think that 135 went flying back over towards base here. All right, speaking of base, let me get over there. We'll get this guy over there safe. And then I want to see if he swims too. It'll be kind of interesting to see. Are you a 135? You're not. You're a 130. Interesting. Getting some higher level stuff in here. Swim's not too bad. Those things are so terrifying whenever you see them in the water. That's the size that Megalodon should be. The sharks that are over on Atlas... Oh, dude, I tell you what, those hammerheads, they are fantastic looking. That's what they should look like in Ark. Just saying. If those will be in Ark too, be kind of neat. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here. Boy, I tell you what. I think I'll just go ahead and just take them out. Get us some good points. Oh, I threw myself again. Yep, yep, my bad. Buddy, Junior! Okay, 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 look, look. If I lose you, we're gonna have problems. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, okay. What level is this Carno? Because I do not want to get into a fight we can't win. I don't know, he has pushback too. The ape? The thing that sucks though, oh, that's a 145. That wasn't too bad actually. The problem is they, oh, the problem is there's another one. Back up. Did you not just see what I did to that one? 
It's alright, we'll watch our stamina. If we have to, we will run into the water. Might be doing that here soon. Possibly. Maybe. Punch him! There you go, smack him, man! He doesn't have a saddle, so that's kind of bad for damage, right? No damage reduction at all, so he takes full... full damage from everything he fights, which is kind of high. Would you get, what, 70 from? Yeah, 70 from the Carnos. That's a 140. Dude, there's a lot of high-level Carnos around here. <laughs> that, uh... That one button is gonna get me into a lot of problems throwing myself. I definitely need to watch out for that whenever I'm on him. We're almost back at base. I want to make some medical brew, too, before we go real quick. We'll set out the... Yep, there's a true dawn. We'll set out the... Is that another Carno? Holy crap, dude! There's another one! Why is there so many Carnos? We're not even where I thought we were by base. But we'll set out our stuff. I want to get some more medical brew made just because I've had some issues farming off camera and I do not want to, uh... want to end up dying. I got plenty of narcotics and stuff. Seems how we got the beaver for getting our berries. Where are we even at? I think base is right up here. Dude, those Carnos are no joke, man. There's a whole bunch of them around. Hopefully... There's none over here by base. Our little buddy's not doing too good. I was putting some of his points into health. I've got 20 points. And it's, uh... Kind of causing some problems with his health regen. Should have really got the Feather Raptor out and had him follow us and used him for our kind of like a guard dog, you know? Dude, he jumps pretty good, too. No fall damage, too, I think, right? From these guys? Can you make it? Nice, nice. I like it. All right, so let's, uh... But you want passive. Am I standing on you? Well, that's kind of weird. Just saying. A little bit awkward. <laughs> is what it is. All right, let's get rid of our berries and stuff real quick. We'll set out our cooking pot. Make a little bit of medical brew to get some rid of some of these berries. I got a ton of them. I've been saving up just for that. And I keep forgetting to. I didn't plan on taming this guy today. It was kind of a uh, kind of a surprise, man. Like I said, I was over there trying to grab wood with the beaver. Which, getting quite a few levels into him. Weight's up to 873 now. I've got all the trees, except for that one. I'm saving that one, just in case I need wood. But all the trees around here, I've kind of gotten rid of. All right, let's... Where is... You? I should just leave this out. And let's grab these. Go and fill them all up. I got one more. should have five. It's all right. Four will be fine. We've got water right here. Throw those in there. We need to pull a little bit of spark powder. And then... How many of these can we do? Wait. There we go. So that'll get quite a few of those. How many are we crafting? It doesn't, doesn't say the, the amount. It's going to be quite a few, though. That's going to be all my narcotics, I think, that I have made up. I just have to watch the water skins. Yeah, all but one bucket. And then... I'm trying to get enough of this for making some more darts. Seems how I just wasted all of our darts on the Pterodon. We had six of them. That's not too bad. We're doing fairly well. And then I had to do another metal run. So what I plan on doing, too, whenever we get the Anki, that's going to be the next video, is we'll use the Anki and probably take the canoe out as well. Because it holds like 2,000 pounds. Why are we... We're beached. How did you get beached? I think this holds 2,000. It does. So we should be able to take the Yankee, get some metal. I might actually, over there, we have so much of it, I'll take a forge over there, build one, smelt stuff up, and just bring back the raw metal because it, it refines it down, right, whenever you smelt it. And that should help out with getting our metal over here for the moment. One thing that sucks about this versus a normal cooking pot is the <laughs> having to fill up. The water skins constantly, but it's fine, it's fine. At least we'll have some medical brew for later, for... Why can I not... Oh, it's full. Why did it overfill itself like that? It's kind of weird. But at least we'll have some of this for whenever we have problems. I don't have the tech forge, or the tech refrigerator, so it's going to spoil kind of fast, too. So that kind of sucks. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day, man. It's another one of those times where I saw it out in the wild. It's not something I plan on taming, but it turned out that we got it tamed. The trap worked. We'll definitely use that for the next one. We've got to find a male one. I'll probably keep an eye on that area, seeing how they spawn over there, and we'll see what we can do. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little trap and tame today for our ape. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.